Hello friends, today we're going to learn how to make a card using HTML CSS. So first create a div and then create a h1 which is going to be our title. Then so for the div I'll give it an ID of main and for the h1 I'm just going to give it an ID of name. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we have to give the card a background. So I'll set its width to 40 of the viewport, of the viewport width. Uh, then, we're going to set its background color to crimson. Now this background color is just a placeholder. No wait, I meant I'm going to set its background gradient to a linear gradient. Crimson, 50%. And then, a, a corn flower, blue, a blue 50%. Now these are just, now these values are just placeholders. Now, uh, these values are just placeholders. We have much more to worry about than the colors. Now to get the actual design ready. Now, I'll set the body to display flex. As then I'll justify everything in the center. Now, in the hashtag name, I'll select hashtag name. I meant in main. And then I'll align it to the center. And then I'll increase the font size to 3.5 REM. Yay. Yeah. We've, yeah, now we've done with this. Next, I'll create a div. Give it an ID of flex. What a specific ID. And now for the div, create another div with a H1 inside of it. It's going to put Lauren. And then I'll copy this and paste it two more times now for the Laura Ipsum I meant so I'll select the hashtag flex inside the hashtag main so what I'm going to do is that uh, I'll set this display to flex now I am doing this so that I'll be able to see now it's in a row. Now I can justify the content to space around. Uh, there we go. Oh no, I forgot to put the second one here. Uh, so anyways, the next thing I'm going to do is that So I'm going to have to select the Stuff inside hashtag flex and then the div So I'll set this background color to gold Remember this this these are just placeholders Then they're, they're not going to be our final color I also the border radius to 100%. Set overflow hidden so that it could be well hidden. I meant overflow hidden so that it can be well hidden. Uh, I'll set its width to something like uh, 50 pixels. I'll set its height to something like 50 pixels. Hey, 
Why is there four? That's a bit mysterious. Ah, I forgot. I forgot to put hashtag div on this one. So that's why. So that's why it looks so mysterious. I meant. I'll just add these to 100 pixels. Uh, 80, 80, 80, 80. Yes. Now I'm going to copy this line of code. And I will say, if. If this is hovered over, increase the size to 160 pixels. Oh yeah, a uh, recipe for goodness is trans. You have to set transition to 0.5 seconds. I mean, just it's popping up suddenly. It doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, and the next thing, and uh, yeah, uh, and I'm also going to uh, what did I want to do again oh yeah uh, and I'm also going to so this is play to flex and then I will wait no I'm going to set display to greet and then I'll place the items on the center next is the description a description of the person now let me now for description I'm just going to play some dummy text no, I'm ipsum. lip go to lipsum.com uh, uh, go to lipsum.com generate for an ipsum C I'll copy this paragraph and I'll, and I'll paste it doesn't really have a it's not really useful by any means. So now I'll go to hashtag main, hashtag desk. Uh, I'll increase its margin top to like 50 pixels. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, then I'll increase its margin bottom to like 50 pixels. Ah, now everything is starting to fall together. Everything is starting to piece together. The, 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 the buttons starting to whatever. The next routine thing I have to do is increase its font size. Now, not make it as big as the other one since it's not as important, but still has to have its own spots uh, in the spotlight. No, I'm Ipsum Island. Uh, yeah, uh, and I will remove some of this dummy text. Yay. Yeah, next I'm going to. Yeah, next it's not really. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to replace this with something more meaningful. Coder. Full. Oh yeah, mm. eh, no, so, so, uh, a hobbyist, maybe, yeah, I'm not going to replace the description, uh, next, the next thing I'm going to do is that, uh, nesting, 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 copy, paste, uh, now set it H1 instead. I uh, have to reduce its font size. One REM is too small. Oh, uh, wait. It's not actually too small. It's actually a bit big. Text align. Center. Center, not venter. Center, not venter. There we go. Now we've got something uh, plausible. 
so now uh we first we need to change this gradient it's, it's not really fitting well so for the color blue i may increase this uh no i meant for the crimson i may reduce this and then i uh do this 45 <clears throat> Now we've got something. Well, Cardi. Mm, yeah, that's the best description I could give to it. Cardi. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Next thing we have to do is I have to give it a better font. It's honestly amazing how a better font can transform your website to something that looks like uh, it was made by w doesn't know coding to something it looks like it was made by a professional developer so i'll this is the railway now select select the semi bold now select oh no 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 uh select the semi bold for 600 and select the black 900 and then copy it uh, copy paste and then set everything in this world so and set everything in this world font family to like railway and also if you know if you know actually know what you're doing then you don't have to do it like this. You can use whatever font you want. I set the font weight to six hundred. Now for the name, I'll set the font weight to nine hundred. It's amazing how it's amazing how just simply changing the font can can drastically improve the quality of the website. Uh, also align this text to the center. Proper lorem ipsum. And now, the H1. Set its opacity to zero. And then I'll go to main flexive hover. Uh, H, H1. Set it to opacity to one. Ah, no smooth transition. That's a crime of its own. Uh, set the transition to 0.5 seconds. Seconds. Oh yeah, I'm also going to make it bigger. Wait, no, I'm not going to make it bigger. Yeah, I don't really prefer this hover effect, so I'm going to comment everything out. Uh, and that's the opacity to one. There we go. The last thing we have to do, you have to set the border, you have to make it more rounded. Get it? Uh, I know it's not a funny joke, but set it past. Now I'll make it more rounded. You know what 5% is the joy? Yes. Now the last thing I'm going to do is replace these default colors because they look so ugly. Now go to color picker, like I always do. And then I'll ink. I'll set this to here, and then I'll pick that color. Also, you can you can set you can set these to whatever color you want. You don't have to choose the colors that I'm choosing. It's just personal preference. So now I'll replace the crimson color with this new color. Uh, make it darker 
Then I'll play the bottom of this crimson color. Uh, uh, oh no. With this new color. Yeah, uh, let me, I need them to blend in more, so I'll increase uh, a bit more. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's enough. Uh, next, I have to replace the default gold colors. They look, they look even uglier than I expected. Uh, I'll copy this. I'll go to where it is. So the background color. This. Yeah, I like this transition. Uh, I don't want the colors to be too stagnant, so I'll increase the saturation. Saturation. So that when you hover over it, it's going to turn into a lighter version. I'll pick this color. I'll go to the hover wherever it is. The background color this instead of that. Remove. Anyways. That's the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, Obacode. Bye.